All right, this is an example for a uh, person that emailed me some questions. I'm going to use recycle and reason. Actually, I'm going to use audacity. The question that the person had was, can you chop up a, a, a song or a sample using something other than recycle? And the answer is yes. And for this example, I'm going to use audacity. This is not going to be a, a full-blown tutorial. It's just going to be a, an example to show, um, to show that person to have the question. So let me open up Audacity, and Audacity is free by the way. You can download it, you can go to Google and just type in Audacity, download it, and like I said, it's 100% free. So here's Audacity. Um, we're gonna open up our file, which is right here. And um, you should be familiar with this. This is Jay-Z's new song, The Rock Boys. This is the sample from that. All right, and what I'm going to do, um, I'm just highlighting in Audacity, you can just click and drag to highlight the portion of the sample that you want to uh, cut out. If you select this magnifying glass here, you can zoom in. You can zoom in to make sure that you are selecting, um, starting where you should be starting. So I'm just going to select this portion. Uh, looks like it starts here. And... Let's see if that's it. That's it there. That's good enough for this tutorial. So we're going to copy this. I'm going to go up to edit, copy, then I'm going to create a new and edit and paste. And now we're going to save this. This is just a loop. It's just a loop. So we're going to save this to our desktop. Actually, we're going to export it as a WAV file so that we can import it into the NNXT. And I'll call this chop one. Alright, now we can close out of this, and we can close out of this also, and now we can open it up into Reason. Now another question that um, that person had was how do you map sounds out in Reason? How do you map sounds out on your keyboard, on your MIDI keyboard using Reason? Um, mm -hmm. The MIDI keyboard that I use is an Oxygen 8, and I'm going to load this sample into the NNXT. Now, as you can see, there are two ways that you can load the sample. This button here is the Browse Patch button. If you would have chopped this sample up and recycled, then you can load it as a patch because Recycle automatically chops things and they automatic, they're automatically mapped to your keyboard. If you don't use Recycle, then you're going to have to manually assign them to your keyboard. And let me show you what I mean. And this answers another question that that person had because he said every time he loaded a sample, I'm, I'm clicking here to load my, my Wave sample, Every time he loads a sample, he loads several samples and they all play at the same time. The reason that they're playing at the same time is probably because of this here. As you can see, I can move, I can move this, this bar that shows how many keys I want the sample to be mapped out on. So, for example, if I loaded up, if I loaded up three of these, let's just pretend that these, that each, each one of these represented a different sample. To uh, prevent those samples from playing at the same time, you just need to move your markers like so, so that each sample is mapped to a different key. And this answers your, your next question, which was, well, how do I get that? You, you asked, how do I get the, the staircase looking display? Uh, to get that display, I just clicked on this drop down arrow right here. There's a drop down arrow here. 
and since I used recycle in my tutorial it automatically chopped, chopped my samples up and mapped them to a different key on my keyboard uh, let me select the right sample there we go and actually they're not on the keys that I want them to be on I wonder if, well, I don't feel like looking for the keys but anyway you get the point um, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna initialize this I'm gonna load this sample back in and I should be able to play it now So, if you just wanted to create a song using this, just hypothetically speaking, what you would do is find your tempo and all that stuff, all the good stuff. I'm just going to record. I'm just going to hit the play button and record at the same time. And that's already it. And you could actually go and lay some drums over that. For example, you can go to my read drum here. And let's if I could find the right key. There we go. So if you wanted to lay drums over that, you could do Alright, so you get the point. And another question that you had was, let's see, let me show you, let me show you what else you can do. Um, this is the benefit of using Recycle. In Recycle, I'm going to open up the same sample. And it doesn't want to play. Recycle has been tripping lately. So, let's see, let's try, I'm going to chop it anyway. I don't know what my chops are going to sound like because for some reason this is not playing. Probably probably has something to do with the sound card. I've been switching sound cards back and forth all day. So I just chopped up the same sample and I'm going to save this as number one. And I'm going to load this up into the NNXT and to a new NNXT. This time I'm loading it as a patch because um, it was chopped up using recycle and I'm gonna hit this drop down box and as you can see there goes that that domino scheme that you're asking about and I'm gonna select zones via MIDI so that when I hit the key on my keyboard I can see what sample I'm selecting as you can see recycle added some stretch on that at the end of the sample and that's optional if you want that removed you could do that within recycle but that's basically the example of using recycle it's quicker the only thing you have to do is move those bars over the sliders over inside of re recycle and it'll automatically chop your um, sample for you then you can import it as a patch and it'll automatically map it for you so that you don't have to do it manually so that's basically um, hopefully that answers all the questions that you had uh, for anybody else that has any questions about production and needs a video tutorial done, here's my website. It's divinemindproductions.com. I have a discussion forum on that site. Feel free to stop by. And until then, I'll see you next tutorial.